Hey, hey, universe and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Yo, this is a good, this is a good highlight. Uh, more decentralization with Bitcoin mining? Yes. Love it. You got back in like 2014, uh, ghash.io. Um, even though this is before I got involved, I do know a little bit about it. But ghash.io controlled right around 50% of the total network hash rate. Almost 51%. Came really close. Um, I think they were like 49%, something like that. 49, maybe 50%. They came really close. Thankfully, nothing bad happened. But, and then your next one that came up was Bitmain. They got up to like 41%, something like that, of the total network hash rate. But now, now, as, as of like towards the beginning of this year, no Bitcoin mining pool has more than 19% of the network hash rate. Yo, smash the like button for that one. That is a win. Uh, that just shows that Bitcoin is becoming a lot more decentralized um, and stuff's still happening with Bitcoin. It's still relevant and people still love that busy Bitcoin. That's, this, this is all just positive news of uh, this uh, Canadian company, uh, Canna Accord, uh, which tracks uh, blockchain digital currency sectors along with other financial operations. Uh, but they have definitely made a big notation that it is becoming more decentralized. That's a good thing. Um, but going on to my other one, I had to laugh when I saw this one. <laughs> um, I don't understand why people think that they can steal large amounts of anything and nobody's going to notice. How are they not going to notice that you did something like this? This is not like the 1940s, you know, 1930s, where communication was not worldwide like it is right now. It wasn't even a fraction of the speed. I mean, by the time, if I did something nefarious in Europe, I could be gone for almost a whole year before anybody outside of whatever country, it would say it happened in Germany. It'd be like a year before anybody outside of Germany even heard about it. And by the time anybody outside of that really significant heard about it, it was such old news that nobody cared. This was more of a wild west back then than it is today. Um, today with the internet and way that, you know, cell phones with all these uh, chat apps, they connect people lightning fast. So if you think you're going to steal a large amount of anything, you're out of your mind. People are going to take notice right away. As these guys in Germany found out, um, they had stolen like enough electricity, as they're saying right here, to, to power up 30 households. Uh, which was like an estimate of around $250,000. I'm sorry, any business person is going to notice that they're missing a substantial chunk of change whenever they know that they've got whatever it was they were creating was utilized. I'm just saying. They, they, they couldn't have thought that they could put up, well, how many there? Um, something like 49 computers, over 80 GPUs, that's legit. I know what what 80 GPUs electricity bills like around here. That's pretty substantial. So, uh, I don't know what these guys were thinking that, except that they were like, oh, we're gonna get all these gains. Lambos. Yeah. The one thing they, they weren't really accounting for was that their high allergy to police because when they saw the police they broke out in handcuffs yo <laughs> but yeah and, and it's like and this these guys aren't even the only ones doing it it's like you would think that these criminals would read the newspaper 
would open up their cell phone and see something like this. Um, there was people in Taiwan. This guy in Taiwan stole over three million dollars worth of electricity to mine Bitcoin and Ethereum. He got arrested. Um, another Chinese person was sentenced to three and a half years for, um, oh yeah, stealing power from the train station. Yo, he stole from the state. Uh, and, and they're not even, and that's not even the coolest one that I heard. The coolest one that I heard was actually in Russia. Two nuclear physicists used a nuclear power facility to, to, to power up their mining rigs. And they got arrested too. As you can see, there's like this trend. You steal electricity to mine, you'll get arrested. No bueno. I'm just saying. I mean, I would never recommend anybody to steal anything, period. Because some hardworking person had to make that that you're stealing. So you're basically taking the money out of the mouths of a hardworking person. Now I understand that some of these people are like, well, these are just these, uh, you know, big, big conglomerate companies. I don't care. They can, they can absorb all of this. Well, actually, they do and they don't. Um, the company will absorb it by punishing the workers because they can't quote unquote make profits. That means the people aren't going to be making more money. So as people thieve from these companies, you're not just stealing from the business owner. You're actually really not doing much to the business owner. You're hundred percent right. When you steal, you're not doing nothing to the business owner you're hurting every one of their employees because every time somebody sits there and steals, that's just one less dollar to this employee, 50 cents less to this employee, 10 cents less to this employee. So you're basically, when you steal, you're stealing from the mouths of another hardworking person like you and me. Don't do it, guys. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm just some boob tuber that's trying to be legit. I got my mining equipment, I pay my taxes on it. I try to be legit as much as I can. I don't tell anybody to do anything illegal. And stealing electricity is one of the things, don't do it guys, no. Uh, but what's your guys' thoughts? I mean, do you know anybody that's stolen anything? Do you know that if they got away with it, did their conscience eat them up alive afterwards? I mean, if you, if you steal something and you're conscious doesn't eat at you a little bit I mean that just speaks magnitudes of who you really are that's just me what's your guys thoughts would you steal let me know drop some comments in down below and while you're at it smash that lizardy like button hit the subscribe bell notification and all that good stuff and of course like always I will see you on the next one